What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my second, I'm not even gonna start numbering these, like I'm gonna be like at like the 15th Pokemon and say like I'm at like the 80th. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. We're doing another uh, VGC moveset guide for these brand new Pokemon introduced into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Before we begin, once again, I'm gonna remind you guys that I'm not gonna be covering the starter evolutions, any legendaries or any Pokemon that haven't been revealed in trailers until I'm completely done with all the Pokemon that were revealed in trailers. This is to minimize the spoilers to everyone who's been trying to avoid them. So yeah. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I'm going to bring you guys some daily competitive Pokemon content. And obviously, we're going to try to do two to three of these moveset guides a, a day for like the next couple of days. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish the series, but yeah, we're already almost a minute in, so let's go ahead and get into this moveset guide. So Titan is a very cool Pokemon. He is a very cool dude, one of my favorite designs of all time. He's just a big whale, and honestly, the stats back it up. This guy's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, so Titan is a pure ice type, which is historically quite bad, uh, but they really did this guy justice. I'm really glad with the stats that they gave him, because taking a look at it, uh, this guy has 170 HP. Absolutely massive dude. Uh, it's got 113 attack, could be better, but honestly with ice moves, uh, they're so offensively well balanced, like they hit a lot of things that um, it's not that big of a deal, especially with one of the movesets I'll show you guys later. Uh, 65 defense, uh, uh, 45 special attack, 55 special defense, and 73 speed. Now, 73 speed might not look like much, but this thing has access to three abilities, Thick Fat, Sheer Force, and Slush Rush. Now, Slush Rush is an ability that gives this thing uh, double speed under snow and for those of you who played in previous generations you might be thinking Marcos what are you saying snow that's not in the game are you talking about powder snow that move that sucks no hail is gone it was reworked into snow uh, now snow is more or less just a reskin of not reskin it's actually completely different uh, it's it's like hail right in the fact that um, it's a positive weather effect for ice types however uh, it's different in the fact that it doesn't suck. Now, what this does is it actually gives uh, all ice types the benefit of having a 50% increase to their defense stat. Uh, rock types get a 50% special defense boost in Sandstorm. Uh, ice types get a 50% physical defense boost in Snow. That's what it is now, and Slush Rush works with Snow now. All, all hail-based abilities are now snow-based abilities. Uh, and there's no more damage over time with it, but honestly, it didn't need it. Uh, I think that this is actually still quite good, uh, but yeah, uh, this thing is, like, with that 170 HP and the fact that it has Slush Rush, this thing's defenses and just bulk kind of go through the roof. 65 defense isn't that great, but if you have, like, a high HP stat and a uh, 50% increase to your actual physical defense stat in the snow, plus that speed stat, your stats are actually kind of insane. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into the moveset for this guy, because... Uh, yeah, it is very snow-based. I will say this, the only snow setter we have in the game, the only uh, snow warning Pokemon as of now, is, um, at least until we get transfer Pokemon, I believe, uh, is going to be Obama Snow, which isn't great. But also we have things like Chilling Reception, uh, which is a move that the Slow King line gets that uh, is a pivoting move that sets up snow. And also we have Manual uh, Snowscape, which is basically the new hail. Uh, you can use that with like Prankster Pokemon if you want, or maybe just a fast Pokemon to set it up. But assuming that you have Snow set up, these are the movesets for it, because you really don't want to run other movesets, honestly. Uh, this first moveset is my Splashable moveset. Uh, this is going to be the set that you're generally going to want to run uh, on like 99% of teams that make use of Satitan. Uh, the next one we'll go over is going to be my personal favorite moveset. Uh, and then, well, it isn't really a personal favorite moveset on this. I like the general one, but this is going to be like a, another option. And then the final one's going to be the fun moveset. So starting off with the one that I believe to be the best, uh, we have the pure offensive Satitan. Uh, we're going to be running an Adamant Nature, uh, 4 HP, max speed, max attack. Uh, and this thing has 73 base speed. Uh, with an adamant nature, you outspeed Dragapult under uh, under snow. It's going to be weird not saying hill, but you outspeed Dragapult under snow, which is going to be, for the most part, the fastest thing you'll ever have to deal with. Uh, and as for the item, you actually have two options. If you're going all out offense and you just want really, really great damage, go ahead and slap a life orb on this guy. But if you prefer consistency, and I'm going to be experimenting with this one, with, uh, with this item myself, 
we have a new item called the Clear Amulet, which is basically a held item version of Clear Body. It makes it so you can't be slowed down with a speed dropping move, you can't have your special defense dropped, it's Clear Body. You can't be intimidated, you're intimidate immune. That's weird. Uh, being completely immune to all stat drops is really great as an ability. As an item, it's actually kind of a fair trade-off that I never actually like put the time into thinking about maybe having implemented into this game, but it's it's really cool. Uh, the reason I think this is actually a pretty decent item for this guy over something like a white herb is because they're, in VGC, you're, you're always going to be facing Intimidate Pokemon or Icy Wind Pokemon. Making Satitan not hit as hard as the Life Orb set or even a Choice Band set in exchange for consistency is actually really decent. Uh, just imagine all like the uh, Sand Rush, uh, Swift Swim, whatever Pokemon that would love to also have a like a passive clear body. I think this is actually gonna be like a decent item for it. Uh, but yeah, uh, it'll make you intimidate immune. That's the point. Uh, as for the moveset, uh, we have Ice Spinner or Ice Go Crash. Ice Spinner and Ice Go Crash, um, there's a difference. So Ice Spinner's 80 base power and removes the effects of terrain with 100% accuracy, while Icicle Crash might be better for some of you riskier players because it is 85 base power and has a chance to crit, or not crit, has a chance to flinch anything that you move before and target with this move, um, but that's at the expense of it being like, I believe 85 uh, accuracy or even 80, it's, it's really low uh, and it makes it quite the unreliable move. Uh, so this is another question of consistency or swag. So, you know, your choice there. Uh, for coverage moves, I think Liquidation is actually quite good. It allows you to hit uh, opposing fire types uh, pretty easily. And especially if you're like facing off against an Arcanine and you have the clear amulet. With any chip, uh, an adamant Liquidation is going to be doing chunks to Arcanine. So I actually think this is going to be a very important move for Satitan to run. We have Stomping Tantrum or Earthquake. Uh, they're pretty similar in damage uh, if you account for Earthquake Spread. Uh, spread damage is actually reduced in double battles, if you don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's just like a question of preference. Do you want to have to protect your partner or, you know, hit your partner? Or would you rather have single target but not hit everything? Uh, and as for the final move, I think Protect or Play Rough. It's your choice. Protect, I believe, is better if you want to just be able to pivot a bit better with like your partners. If you want to get in a Pokemon next to this thing while you defend it. Uh, but Play Rough is actually pretty important for being able to hit um, Fighting type which is the only type that you don't really have coverage for without it. So yeah, as for Terra typings, I think Ice is actually pretty decent on Satitan, even though like Ice types don't want to be Ice types for the most part. Um, obviously by Terraing into Water, which is the alternate option, you still keep all the uh, offensive benefits of Ice type. Uh, you still keep the stab on Ice, but you now gain a Water stab, and defensively becoming a Water type is actually quite good. So I think that's actually very nice. Uh, you do lose out on that passive 50% defense boost though, so uh, your choice here. I think it's, uh, I think that like Offensive of Titan is actually going to be a threat you'll have to look out for if someone pulls up to the local with a, with a hail team for some reason or a snow team. Uh, the next moveset is just an alternative. I think Assault Vest isn't a bad option for Titan. Uh, it's once again Adamant Slush Rush, more or less the same moveset. Uh, however, instead of Protect here, we're actually going to be running Icy Wind. And that's because as a Assault Vest Pokemon, you no longer have the option to Protect. But with double speed, um, being able to Icy win things is pretty decent. Let's say you're facing off against uh, a fighting type. You know, I, I had mentioned that earlier. And you have a partner Sylveon. So while your Sylveon would be able to one-shot the fighting type and defend your Satitan, it won't be able to defend it if it doesn't go first. So what this allows you to do is actually slow down the opposing fighting type with an Icy Wind and then hit it with a partner Pokemon that can one-shot it. Uh, supportive Icy Wind off of like very fast Pokemon is actually really great and even on offensive Pokemon that have like Slush Rush or Swift Swim or anything, uh, it's just a nice tool to have in the back. And since you're already running an Assault Vest, you're, you know, your move pool is limited. Icy Wind's not really that bad of an option. Terra types are the exact same, but for the move set, uh, or for the uh, EV spread, we're running 108 speed, which is going to put you at um, 107 speed as your actual number. Uh, and that will allow you to outspeed Dragapult specifically uh, under snow. And then the rest is dumped into HP because with the Assault Vest, uh, obviously, you know, you might actually get more out of just increasing like the defensive stats themselves. But for a non-specific moveset, just go ahead and dump it into HP because with the Assault Vest and the uh, Snowscape active, uh, you're actually going to get a 50% boost to both of your defensive stats, which is very, very cool. So yeah. 
Um, this is obviously quite intimidate weak though. That's like a downside to it, which is why I consider it the alternative rather than the splashable moveset. Now, what you've all been waiting for, the fun moveset. Uh, we're running Citrus Berry Belly Drum Satitan. Now, this guy's got like a very specific EV spread, and I'll be honest, it's mostly just thrown together like here and there, because I think it's funny. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be running a Belly Drum Slush Rush set, and you're not going to want to stay your normal typing. You're going to want to Terra type into either ground, water, or steel, depending on the moveset you end up going with. But the general gist of this is you have three offensive moves and Belly Drum. So Titan has 170 base HP, uh, and in snow has a 50% defense boost. So we can make this thing one bulky dude that makes it very easy to get a belly drum off, activate your citrus berry, get that health back, and then start sweeping things with your doubled speed. So I would say ground, water, or steel are your best options depending on your movesets. I think ground's gonna be the funniest though since you can spam plus six earthquake. Uh, but for the EV spread, we're gonna be running four HP, 140 attack with an adamant nature, 252 defense, 4 special defense, and 108 speed. Once again, the 108s to outspeed Dragapult under snow. Uh, but that's that 252 defense, that is just, I, I am not getting KO'd by Bullet Punch Scizor. I, there is no shot. And also, if you become like a steel type, yeah, no, this thing's like very, very difficult to break. So yeah, it's going to be funny. Uh, you definitely have to run it with redirection, whether it be a follow me user or um, maybe friend guard mouse hold. That's a thing. Uh, or just Amoongus. Rage Powder Amoongus is probably going to be decent with this guy. So yeah, uh, obviously the Titan is very reliant on its weather, but if someone can make it work, please like send me the video of you using this set. I would absolutely love that and I would show it off to everyone. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's moveset guide. So Titan, Probably going to be a mid-tier, but I really hope I can make them work. I really love this guy. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I'm going to be bringing you guys some daily moveset guides as well as some, some battle content. Hopefully, I'll get some battles recorded either today or tomorrow uh, as soon as I finish the game. So yeah, have a nice one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.